Hey, welcome back. This is part two of uh, Nux 3 authentication tutorial where we're talking about how we can add Google authentication to our Nux 3 app similar to this, like this, right? So you can be able to log in with your um, account in uh, Nux. So this is a site, an app that I, I built yesterday, but I'm going to show you how I did it. So yesterday, I mean the last video, this is where we we got to right so if you if, if you're just landing on this video and uh, just watch the, the prior video this is part two watch part one to know we installed Nux and all that all right in this one we are going to add a header and a footer to our application so we're gonna go to uh, Jeremy Coda in github right you just go to github Jeremy Coda you go to repositories and then you go to NAS components, right? And in the components, you click in components and we are going to look for the Nuxt. Uh, I'm going blank here. NX navbar, this one here. So we're just gonna copy that. And then I got three apps running. Where am I? It's this one. All right. So we're going to create our components folder. I'm going to make this smaller. Delete what I we don't need. But we don't need that. And uh, we're going to create our components folder or directory. And in it, we're going to create a component called NX navbar. And we're going to paste what we copied. Right. And then we're going to create another one. Something's happening here. We're going to create another one called NX menu. So it's blank right now, but we're going to go to uh, Jeremy Coda and just go to find NX menu. There it is. I'm going to copy that, paste it. And then we're also going to go uh, pick up NX card. Let me see. Uh, probably not. No, we'll leave that one there. This one, NX footer. I'm going to copy that. Yeah, we're going to copy this footer and then we're going to go back go back to the S code we're going to create uh, in the components folder uh, NX footer just paste that all right we should be good now we're going to go back to default and then we're going to start with the footer, right? And in the footer, oh, this was wrong. Did, did I say header and header? <laughs> that was wrong. Okay. So this is going to be the footer tag. It's supposed to be footer. And then we're just going to say NX footer right there like that and then um, we're gonna do the copy thing we're gonna say um, ampersand copy we're gonna just call this next Google yep Google off like that so let's see what that looks like go to the front there it is what we need we need um 
Okay, that's fine. And then, all right, so it should look like that. It's very good. The next thing we're gonna do is modify the header. And what we're gonna do with, the way we're gonna modify that is we're going to go to, that's the wrong one. Yeah, it's, it's around. We're going to go to um, default again, and we're going to add right here. We're just going to add nx navbar like that. Now nx navbar takes in a, for now it, it takes in a menu. Um, prop. So we're going to say style, um, not, not style, script setup. Language is TypeScript. And then we're going to import NX link from types right there. And NX links may be from types. And this is a type that goes into the menu. If you can take a look at that when you go into types, uh, and in types, you see the NX link, it takes a name, a link, if it's disabled, if you want to show it, if it has a border, if it has children, all this stuff. All right. So in default, we're going to create an array. Called main menu. It's an array, and it is of type uh, nx links. And in this array, we're gonna has a name. The name is going to be home, and the link is going to be to the home page. And then we're going to create another one. It's going to be called dashboard. And we're going to have a link called slash dashboard. The same thing. We're going to have another one called uh, probably log out. We have a link slash logout. So we're gonna feed this main menu into menu here. So if we go to the front, if we go to app, you see we have this empty nav bar. And uh, what this, the nav bar is this, right? It's this, you can have add different props and all that so it's this so it has an empty array right now that's why there's no, nothing in it but we're gonna put main menu here okay main menu save and voila like that that's nice huh okay <laughs> so what time is it okay so we have that now what we want is that when we click here I want to go to the home page then I want to go to the dashboard then I want to go to log out All right so let's do that actually and uh, the way we do that we have to first create those pages so we have the home page here then we're going to I'm just gonna copy and paste this I'm gonna copy and paste and copy and paste and then I'm going to rename this one to dashboard. I name this dashboard. And I'm just going to say this is your dashboard. I'm going to rename, I guess, with logout, we, we, we don't really need. A logout page because when you click the link, the logout you be logged out. So, but maybe we can change this to maybe settings, right? 
call this settings. Then I'm gonna call this settings. This is your settings page. Save dashboard save. Because we created new pages, we have to restart the app. So control C yarn dev or command C yarn dev on the Mac. Since we created those pages, we go back to our default app here. And that this navbar has an emit. All right. Uh, if you want to look at it and kind of uh, study it, it has an emit. I should probably uh, called clicked. When, when I build it up some more, I think I'll make it like, uh, I'll add that stuff to the website. But for this tutorial, you're just going to have to trust me. <laughs> okay, so it has an emit and uh, emit it's an event. So it's going to be at clicked, which is this one here. And when this is clicked, it's going to send back the object that was of the link that was clicked. So we're, we're going to create a function, excuse me, called menu clicked. And uh, right down here, we're going to say function menu clicked and when you click it's going to return a menu item of type nx link like this might be a little bit like what are we doing here just trust me right now you know these are these are already pre-built components so that we don't have to spend too much time um, building our own components and uh, I'm gonna show you what this means so let me just do a console log here we're just gonna console log menu item. Like that. So I'm gonna save that. So when we open up our dev tools, you're gonna see what I mean. So this has restarted. Whenever you click home, see that it sends back an object, that object that we created with the link and home dashboard dashboard with the link you know it sends it back the whole page oh the yeah, logout we, we we won't probably won't do it that one like this well we will but we'll also set up a settings page let's see things might change okay so we have a logout which is just a link and actually um See, we're gonna create a settings page here. We don't have a logout page, so I might actually just get rid of this one. I'll just do that one like this. Okay, so we're gonna describe what this function does. And uh, you do that if you don't know if you if I do that in VS Code slash slash does that so we can describe with like JS docs way I believe menu item is just the item uh, the item that was clicked and then we're going to describe it here and say that um, receives data of the clicked object and what we're going to do now is we're going to examine this object and what we're going to say is that if menu item if you have the link then we're going to um, navigate to that's a next um, function Gonna na navigate to menu item dot link. I'm gonna close that. So you can see here that we don't have link here, so we won't go anywhere. We'll deal with logout later. So what this would do now? We have those pages, right? If you click on home, you're in the home page. Dashboard, you go to the 
the dashboard page settings, settings page logout, you won't go anywhere. All right, very good. So I think this is good for now. Uh, actually, you know what? We are missing a, a, a serious one. We need, we actually need the um, login one. So let's go and create that. Sorry about that. So we're going to create the log out. Don't know if I need all these now, but and I'm going to make it the first one. I'm just going to copy this, paste it here, and just say login. Did they say log out one or login? <laughs> I'm going to call this login. Then we're going to create the page. So go to pages. Uh, it doesn't matter which one actually. I'm going to copy and paste. I'm going to call it login. And here we're just going to have a login. And we'll just say here, we're going to say login with your Google account. Low. Save. We created a, a new page, so we have to restart. And I misspelled Google. So let's see what that does. Do we have the login page yet? No, we don't. We're still building. There it is. All right. This is good for now. So. Hey, uh, in this tutorial, we are creating an app that looks like uh, this, right? Where we have login and login with Google below and all that. But if you want to learn how to create from scratch a Nux3 app that you can log in with email and password, right? Just click the link below. I have a tutorial where I teach you all these things, exactly how I built this app you'll be able to re re register with the user, you'll be able to create front end validation, and you'll be able to also add back end validation. You say I would add in, you know, type in that, and then I say, this is the password, and they say, oh yeah, you know what, I, I, I need to uh, start the server, All right? One moment. Oh, that's because that app wasn't running. All right, so let's say I added that, try to log in with that. I'm just gonna say that email is in bad format. And I'm just gonna say, okay, uh, what if I did this? Try to log in with that. It's gonna say that person does, does, doesn't exist. So I'm gonna teach you exactly how I did this and you can log in. I created, uh, I think we have Jack at example. It's the real login. Success, and then it will automatically navigate to the dashboard. So this is your dashboard and you have settings which where we grab the user information. You can also log out and you try to go back in and you see how that the, the menu changes when you log out. So if you want to learn exactly how I, I did this, I'm going to take you in like a step by step fashion that shows you exactly how I did this. And from the back end, we get this like really nice. Um, it tells you the status is this success if the data was uh, if everything is good or fail if it didn't work out all right so I'm gonna show you exactly how I, I did this in a step-by-step -step fashion and my goal is to help you become an authentication pro for you to understand next authentication or just authentication in general so click the link below if you want to get that tutorial and I will see you in the tutorial all right in the next video we are going to let me go back to that other app on the login page, right? We're going to go and create this uh, this part here. We're going to go and grab that and see how you know we can we can do that. All right. So I will see you in the next one. God bless.